So we're here at EAS and we're going to show you the Kloss Hive Dome. And I have Gordon here who's going to tell us all about it. All right. The origin, our original work was done in Croatia with scientists there. And uh, our original purpose was to eliminate condensation. So condensation rises in a normal hive. We have to deal with it. It collects on the top and falls back in, causes that big mess you get in the hive with, the, with all that water in there. With, with the advent of the dome, the dome shape actually still collects the condensation, but the condensation now runs off the sides and down away from the honey and the comb and lands on the ground. So that was the original, that was the original intent. After that, uh, we kept, kept the hive with the dome on it and we discovered that the thermal transfer, the hive was all the same temperature. So in the springtime, we don't get a cold side and a hot side where she escapes to the warm side, starts laying over there, then she starts chimneying, any of those other things. When she comes out, it's all the same temperature. So she lays that whole thing the same. That translates into more brood, into more bees and more honey. So it's, uh, we've, been, we've been dealing with 170 year old technology of straight wood. Now with the advent of plastic, we're able to make things happen more scientifically and more efficiently for the, and keeping your bees better. Tell me about the airflow in the dome itself and how that right. a, is a it, dome it flow advantage. air flows in the dome. If we if we're using the old style, we don't add, uh, change it for the dome. We have dead corners, place where circulation doesn't happen. So the circulation in a dome is going to make the air move, circulate. Thing, everything is going to start moving. Temperature moves. Uh, it moderates. Everything is the same. Sounds. All the sounds are reflected. Everything that happens in the bees is going to be reflected through the entire hive. And how do you place this in the hive? Right here, you have a demo where you have a box around it. So what what, what we're going to do is we're going to take everything off. Inner frames. Everything. Everything comes off. Right down to the bees. We're, uh, so it's it's pretty simple. We're gonna take, we're gonna put the the dome on. We're gonna take anything bigger, an Illinois or bigger. It doesn't have to be a nice box. It can be your broken down box. We're just protecting the, the dome, and then we install any of your lids. But there's no inner cover anymore. We don't need it. It does not. It has no benefit. We don't need any ventilation because air transfers instantly on, t on contact. So I keep these in Florida when it's 100 degrees outside, the bees don't have a problem. Uh, I, have, I have video where we're working in Croatia at two degrees, we are opening the t down to the plastic and observing the, the cluster. So it, it's not affected by weather, but we're gonna leave it in there all year now. And you can see, obviously, as soon as you take the roof off, you can see down through it. Yep. You see down through it, the bees, and the bees don't recognize that you're there. So you can take this off, do observation, teach children, have your garden club come look at your bees without having to have an outfit for everybody. And nobody, it, they're so tranquil about it, they never send out a search party to find out who opened the door. So this is available for sale now. You can get it where? You can get it much? today. You can get it at Rossman Bee Supplies. Uh, in, the, in the very near future, Daydan and the other big distributors will have it. Uh, and they, they're $15. So they come, in, they come in five, eight, and 10 frame models. So we're going to fit most all of your hives. Great. Thank you. Appreciate it, Gordon. All righty. Like people are going to enjoy it. We, the people who have them wouldn't give them back. I nice. promise. Thank you. Good.